I will say this, that I kind of boiled down the world's problems to an, an issue of, of separateness. You know, I guess the common modern term for this is supremacy. Mm -hmm. The idea that two groups are separate from each other and one has power over the other. I would say that this is, you know, not just a racial issue. It, it creates war when, when one country or one group feels, you know, different than another group and they have power over that group. They're going to and try to enforce it with war. It, it creates gender issues. And it also has an ecological aspect because mm -hmm. when human beings feel that somehow they're separate from the rest of nature, and they have power over nature, then we have the world that we have today. How can we shift this paradigm to, to one where we're all part of a system, a more of a systems theory way of looking at things? We're all in this together. And I realize that conventional schools support the old paradigm because the mm -hmm. teacher is separate from the students. The teacher has power over the students. Whereas at our school, you know, when we have our meeting, it's in a, we're in a circle. And so everybody, everybody is equal and everybody is a part of the school. We don't have that, that supremacy or separateness. And so that, that's really, I think, the biggest benefit that schools like this have to offer the world. Right on. This is the Agentic Schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.